Hi, I'm Shoestring Jane. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome to you. If you've already subscribed, thank you for that and welcome back. Um, I'm going to talk today about something that's not necessarily very frugal. Um, we had a two day trip to London, so I thought I would share it with you. Um, it's all been a bit of a mad rush today, really, because we got back yesterday. Um, and usually I do a video on a Wednesday, so I've been rushing around trying to get this ready for you. So hopefully you'll see this on Wednesday. Um, we had a real packed couple of days. We only stayed for one night in London, um, but we wanted to put as much as possible, do as much as possible as we could. There were lots of things that we wanted to do. We hadn't been really for ages. If we do go to London, it tends to be on the outskirts of London to see my middle daughter, Chloe, um, who lives in London. But we don't often go as tourists. So it was really nice to go as tourists. We did some sights. We rushed around, saw lots of lovely things. So to start with, we booked into a hotel, which was, you know, a fairly budget priced hotel. It wasn't the cheapest a hotel that you could have found, but it was an, a really nice hotel, a bit quirky. I liked it because it had a good kind of environmental policy. Um, they, they boast about using like 40% less water than other hotels and that kind of thing. So I quite liked that. It looked quirky when we booked it as well. And it actually was nice and quirky. The room was kind of comfortable. It wasn't massive, but it was comfortable. Um, and the main reason for it was because it was my birthday and we wanted to do something different. But for Justin's birthday, about two or three years ago, maybe, he got a voucher for St Paul's and he really wanted to go. He's wanted to go for ages. So we thought, well, go to London, do St Paul's finally and do some other things as well. So on day two, we went to St Paul's um, and we, we climbed all the way to the top. It was absolutely amazing. It was hard, hard work, but it was really good. Um, and another thing that we wanted to do was to go to the V&A. We both had been in the past, but we hadn't been really for a long time. So we thought we'd like to go to the V&A. I love it there, actually. I think it's really, really nice. So we started there. It was a good place to start, actually, because we did think about going to the Natural History Museum, which is just next door. But we completely forgot when we booked this, or we just didn't know, we're out of the loop now, um, that it was the Easter holidays in the UK and the schools were out. So, of course, the Natural History Museum, the queues for that were horrific. We did book in, but we decided to book in for the afternoon. Luckily, we had booked it at the last minute. So we booked for the afternoon. We thought it would be a bit quiet. And we did the VA8, VA, V and A in the morning. And we booked for that as well. You forget, though, you used to be able to just walk into all these things. And now you have to be kind of really organised and, you know, do it ahead of time. So... Um, we did it a little bit before. We did St Paul's a few weeks before because we really did want to go and see that. We knew we'd have to pay and book for that. Um, and then in the evening, after we did, we did V&A, then we did Natural History Museum. And in the evening, the other thing that people keep telling us about, our lodges being and my daughter's being, was that the um, Sky Garden in the city and it's in the Walkie Talkie building. Um, and you get the most amazing views. And originally, we did think we'd do that in the daytime. When I went to book, and I did leave it quite late, I realised that it was completely fully booked, so you couldn't get in at all. The only time you could get in was in the evening if you booked a table. So we thought, well, OK, let's book a table then. So we did, um, and it, we got there about half past eight. And actually, it was really fantastic because... The lights and the sights, you can see everything so clearly. You think, well, it's dark, but you could see all of the lights in London. You could tell what was what from the lights. Um, you could see all of the Thames. You could see boats going up and down the Thames. It was absolutely stunning and really amazing. So I, I'm quite glad that we did go in the evening in the end. Um, and then when we went to St Paul's, because we went up, and St Paul's, you can see from the Sky Garden and vice versa. So we could see all of the sights again, but in the daytime. So it was really a good mix, a good thing to do. But as I say, it wasn't massively frugal going to London, spending a night in a hotel, going to lots of attractions, even if they're free like the museums were. Um, it's, it's not frugal. Obviously, we were eating there as well. So we didn't take all our food with us. You can't take your food for two days. Um, although do, usually, actually, we do take lunch. But this time we thought, no, we'll treat ourselves to lunch as it was my birthday. Um, so we spent quite a lot of money. But this is the point of being frugal, isn't it? So that you, you're frugal generally day to day so that you've got the, the money to go and do the things that you want to do. And for us, 
that is doing some form of like traveling little days out and as well but we like to have a couple of holidays or a little break like this one and we like to do those things because we're we're not retired we're semi-retired now we're not doing as much as we used to um, work-wise um, and it's really nice to get out and about and do stuff isn't it so it was just brilliant so it was a really nice trip so I thought I would share it with you anyway my filming as ever is a bit rubbish but I think you get the general gist and I'll see you again at the end hope you enjoy <laughs> stop was the Victoria and Albert Museum where we've been before but not for a long time so we spent quite a long time in here just a shoestring <laughs> there's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are Cause you're not here It's been way too long If I could lay down beside you I would, I would When nothing really matters That's all I wanna do I hope that you are safe And that I will see you soon If I could lay down beside you Museum. Wow. Great building it is, isn't it? It's going into volcano. It's right up your nose.
Day two, and we went to St Paul's Cathedral, which Justin has wanted to go to for the longest time. And there was a bit of a queue, but it wasn't as bad as it looks. It was mainly just doing a quick security check. And as you can imagine, St Paul's Cathedral is extremely beautiful. It's absolutely stun stunning inside. And um, we had a tour with a really nice lady who gave us a little half hour chat about the history of the building. It's well worth doing if you go, they're all volunteers. And it was just really, really beautiful. We had a really good look round. So I hope you enjoy this little, not very well filmed look with a little surprise guest at the end. <laughs> And the person we least expected to see in London was Princess Anne. She was there doing a Falklands Memorial service and we were so surprised at how small and slight she is in real life. She's a tiny lady, very smart and serious, um, and very slim. Not what we were expecting at all. Mind you, we weren't expecting to see her in the slightest, but it was quite interesting, it was quite fun. We just walked along and there were a load of people there and suddenly we realized this was going on. Steps we've been up about 500 so far. He's filming me, filming him. <laughs> Breathing heavily. arrived. Thank God. I'm going to die. I keep on over. Oh. Oh, wow. Here we are. the Walker Talkie building on my far right. That's where we were last night, the Sky Garden. So we're at the top of St Paul's now. Having recovered and survived, actually we're not quite at the top, we're at the stone section, the stone gallery. Very good view. You can see the Globe Theatre just here. Building, and the Tate Modern, the old Battersea Power Station, and the Wobbly Millennium Bridge. Good view from St Paul's. Here we go. Next bit. We walked a long way down. Perhaps I should concentrate instead of filming. <laughs> Just 
Justin's afraid of heights. I've got a pee pee his pants. <laughs> It's quite scary, look, this is what we're walking down around. It's a very narrow thing around the top of some pools. And here we are, oh, that's where we were last night, Sky Garden. Gosh, you do feel very exposed, look. That's a bit of the dome. And there's the Thames over there, and the Shard again. We've gone all the way around. Now we're going down. This was honestly the scariest staircase I've ever done. So I'm not going to film because it's, I feel like I have to concentrate. <laughs> we just came from up there. Are you sure it was just the narrowest thing ever? So as you can see, we did have a really good trip. Um, I suppose I should really explain why I'm sitting on my bed. as because my daughter was here looking after Archie and she's been working downstairs. So her stuff is everywhere. So I thought I'd just come and sit on the bed. I'm absolutely shattered anyway. My legs well after the St Paul's thing they were like jelly and today they really ache I really know about it I've been for two walks today with Archie both of us went out with him this morning and we got absolutely soaked it was like heavy heavy rain and sleet and hailstones within the space of an hour it was horrible um just now I I saw the sun with dark cloud behind it and I thought I'm going to leg it over the field with Archie and his ball just to get rid of some of his energy um, and we got back just as it started again and now it's really raining out there. So I'm glad to be in here tucked up and cosy. I've got so many things to do though. I think taking two days out during the week, even though I say we're semi-retired, I have more and more on. I, I feel like I do have a lot on. I know I can pick and choose what I do. I can pick and choose when to do it. I can be really flexible. But having two days, days out, you get back and there's a few emails to deal with and people want me to do this and that. So I've got this video to do. I've got articles to write. I've got the house to tidy. The house is a flea pit. You know, you get to the stage, I'm tidy, I'm tidy, I'm tidy. And then I get a bit busy and it just gets suddenly overwhelmingly messy. Plus there's a lot of washing, stuff we took away. Um, there was stuff before as well. Um, because the weather wasn't particularly nice. I was waiting for the weather to improve. Um, the weather's not improved at all. We've already got two areas full of washing in the house, so I'm going to have to do it anyway and just fight, try and air, dry it off in the airing cupboard. So it just kind of gets to that stage of being a bit chaotic, but there you go. You know that my channel is real life. This is what happens, isn't it? Um, nothing is perfect here and if you tell me your life is perfect then I know you're fibbing because life is not perfect. Anyway having said that we did have an almost perfect couple of days it was really really good thoroughly enjoyed it absolutely knackered and now need to catch up. So anyway I hope you enjoyed watching this if you did give me the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already usually what I talk about on here is all things money saving thrifty and frugal so there'll be more of that on Sunday for my next video until then I'll see you bye for now bye